All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna be diving into the Lightroom app. Let's just jump right into it and get started. Go ahead and open up the Lightroom app here on your phone, and we're gonna tap right there on that camera button there in the bottom right-hand corner to launch the camera here. And let's go through some of the different settings up. Up there at the top of your screen, you see that DNG. Go ahead and tap on that. If your camera will support DNG, by all means, use DNG. If it won't support DNG, then JPEG is fine, but DNG is gonna give you better image quality. Click on that flash button, turn the flash off. Let's go to the bottom right-hand corner. Let's tap on that menu button. I like the crop ratio of three to two because that matches what a digital SLR camera uses. Self timer is the one next. You don't need to worry about that. Next to that one, you can turn on some different display grids. We're gonna use rule of thirds eventually, so might as well turn that on now. And I like to have the volume keys be my capture button, meaning I can just press volume up or down to take pictures, and I like that setting. The rest of those settings, just leave them as they are. Bottom left-hand corner, let's just make sure we're on automatic right there. And of course, you can always just tap and drag left or right on your screen to adjust the brightness or darkness of your photo. That's called exposure compensation. And then of course, up there in the top right-hand corner, there's the selfie camera. You know it, you love it. In the bottom right-hand corner, you have different filters and effects you can apply to your photo. You guys, I would rather do all of that after I take the photo, so I don't ever use those right there. But if you wanna play around with them, go ahead and do so. Let's reset that exposure compensation back to zero. Get that guy dialed in there. Another important thing to know, you guys, is that the Lightroom app, just like any other camera app on your phone, is gonna focus wherever you tap. And focus is very important, you guys. If your photos aren't in focus, they're not good photos. So remember, focus is determined by distance. So if you focus on something close to the camera, things that are farther away are gonna be out of focus, or if you focus on things that are far from the camera, things that are close to the camera are usually going to be out of focus. So just be really careful and make sure you're tapping on and focusing on your subject, the thing you want to be in focus in your photo. Otherwise, you won't have very good photos. Let's just tap on some different things that we wanna focus on here, and we'll take press the big blue button at the bottom or your volume buttons. And you guys, here's a little secret for you. If you're supposed to take a photo of a leaf or something like that, don't ever just take one. Always take five or 10 photos at least. Try different angles, move your camera around, try different things. You guys, don't ever just be happy with just one photo because you can almost always take a better photo. I try a little bit different angle here, try straight down and just move it around a little bit and try and get some different shots of this leaf until I get something that I think looks really, really good. And there you go, you guys. We just took our first photos using the Lightroom app on your phone. We learned how to set up some important settings. We learned about the tap to focus. We learned how to take the actual photos and focus on different parts of our subject. And most importantly, we learned to take lots of photos whenever we need to take even just one. And there you go, you guys. Now go start taking photos using the Lightroom app on your phone.